On August 22, the year 2013, Grants Pass, Oregon had a lightning storm. And I decided to do a few experiments to see if I could actually measure the lightning. Well, I, I shouldn't say I was measuring the lightning. What I did was I, I took this meter here, which has a needle that sits in the center scale, and I hooked an antenna on it and a ground wire just to see if it would get any kind of deflection every time the lightning struck. And sure enough, it did. When the lightning storm was over, I was notified from my friend Bruce that his house was struck by lightning. And I also got some great pictures of what the lightning did uh, to some of the electronics in his house and to his house after the storm. What I'm doing is I'm actually... Uh... Oh my goodness! Oh, I don't know if the camera picked that up, but... I... Wow. What I thought was rather interesting is every once in a while the... Oh, you see that? The needle just... Good Lord. Oh my goodness. Obviously the needle still worked. If, I hope the camera caught that. It flew to the right hand side for a minute and pegged out. Notice the needle will move in, in uh, two different directions here. Once in a while it will move to the right and then like just there it just moved to the left a little bit. Well, that storm we just had really damaged a lot of my friend's electrical devices. In fact, he brought in the CB radio. He actually just gave it to me. He knew it was pretty well toasted. And I was noticing, if you look at the side of the case here on the CB, that it's all um, bulged out. I didn't think that I didn't think that bulge on the side there would possibly come from the lightning. But sure enough, when I looked inside, this transformer had completely blown. And in fact, if you look at the windings. The magnetic flux coming off these windings was so intense it just blew them apart. Let you take a look inside there. That's a lot of power there to do that. And when I looked underneath, I don't even think this thing's worth trying to fix. If you look underneath here, just to give you a view, I guess the uh, the voltage just so high it just went through here, totally toasted that resistor, blew the traces off the circuit board there. You can see all the dark area there, and then you can see on the bottom part where the lightning came in. 